Hello, my name is Devin Tucker and I'm going to be demonstrating and hopefully helping with your preparation for the NBYO Symphony Bassoon Auditions. The audition is comprised of three separate parts. The first part is going to be scales. You have either the F major two octave scale that's provided or you can choose another scale to play, preferably two octaves. Uh, followed by a minor scale. The minor scale provided is G minor. You can choose another minor scale if that's going to demonstrate your ability better than what's provided. The second portion of the symphony audition for bassoon is going to be a solo of your choice. Anything that you have in your repertoire, either fully prepared or a part of something, um, you can demonstrate that and hopefully show your best ability and your skill level. Um, the third part is going to be two excerpts that are provided, both from Dvorak 8. Each of these excerpts, as well as the scales and other parts of your solo, are going to have different things that you need to consider and hopefully execute really, really well on your audition. Um, the first thing, let's talk about the scales. The scale that's provided is your F major scale, two octaves. This is a pretty simple scale for uh, this age group that would be considered for symphony. First things to consider is first octave, really, really simple. Your F all the way up to the, high, or the higher F. Right after that, in the second octave, you go up to that G with the half hole. You want to make sure your half hole is large enough that your nose not going to crack and try to play the low G, but also not too large that it's just going to be an open hole. Okay, half hole G. Right after that G, you're going to go up to the A, and you're going to want to use your A flick. Okay, it's the big one right in the middle. Flick the A, followed by the B flat flick. You can use this one or this one, followed by the C flick. Okay, so that order one more time. You have A flick. You can use the B flat or B flat as well as C. Okay, you should also flick high D. If you have all five keys, you're gonna use this for your high D flick. And then you go up to your E natural and high F. Okay, make sure you have the proper figuring for the high E and the high F. And then you're gonna play right back down. Tempo marking is 120. That's kind of quick. If it is too quick for you to play in a clean fashion, you might consider playing slightly under tempo. Whatever um, tempo you can play, fastest, cleanest, and most accurate will be what you, you're going to want to demonstrate. Make sure that you have a metronome so that you can get a true tempo versus just relying on you know muscle memory or just your brain to tell you the right tempo. For the minor scale, the G minor scale is really, really simple. The hardest part is going from that F natural, just your whisper key, up to that half hole G. Again, if you've done it 50 times in your life, it won't be hard anymore. Um, realizing that you have B flat and E flat in this, make sure you're always looking at your key signature prior to starting. Also at 120 BPM. I'm going to be playing the F major and the G minor scale for you. Tempo of 120 BPM. Internalize. If you can play two octaves on, on two octaves on your minor scale, that could be really, really cool and probably impressive as well. Let's move on. I'm not going to do a solo for you. I feel like you should hopefully have something either from band or from orchestra or from private lessons that you could play for this. You can use an excerpt from a methods book. You can use um, something from concert band if you had a really nice melodic passage. It's really up to your discretion. Make sure you read all the instructions. Make sure that it's gonna demonstrate your current level of playing, uh, a portion of a solo or exercise. Um, no longer than three minutes, you wanna keep it pretty brief, but it needs to be a little bit more than just four measures of music, if possible. Uh, ideally demonstrate confident sound and tone. Okay, this is very important. Make sure that you are in control and you have it in your fingers and your muscle memory. Um, if you need help, determining what is appropriate to play, ask your teacher. Uh, you can email Naomi at her uh, email address, which is on the audition sheet. It's also posted almost on every single page of the NBYO uh, website. We're gonna move on to the excerpts. Excerpt number one. This one's at 138 BPM. That's pretty quick. However, this one's pretty short. Things you need to consider. Accidentals, okay? Sharps or flats that are printed in the music. The key signature that you're starting with, dynamics, articulation. 
The first and second measures are exactly the same notes, the same rhythms, the same pattern. Same with measure three and measure four. Those two are, are identical as well. The difference is which note you're starting on and the accidentals present. When you're playing the first two measures, make sure that your C sharp is using both the whisper key and the C sharp key on the back here. And you're hitting those every single time. Okay? Make sure all fingers are covering all holes properly and not venting slightly. It's gonna sound terrible otherwise. You're gonna go from your C sharp up to the E natural, first finger and whisper key, up to that G, the half hole note, making sure that you're actually giving it half of a hole and not a whole hole or just a partial un uncovering, half hole. Then you go up to that high B flat. You're gonna to wanna to flick that B flat either with the A flick or the C flick key, either of those. Whichever is more comfortable for you, flick the B flat. The second time you play it, you're gonna play it soft with the piano dynamic. Measure three, starting on D up to F natural, really simple. Then you're going up to that A flat. You have two options for A flat. You have the front A flat and the back A flat. I try to use my back A flat or my thumb keys more than my pinkies, mostly because my thumbs are stronger than my pinkies. It's also more comfortable. That's I think maybe how I first learned to play that note. Regardless, play what's most comfortable for you, whichever fingering combination works best for you. Again, the first time through is gonna be louder. The second time through is gonna be softer. D to F, F to A flat, and then A flat up to C flat. C flat has the same fingering as B natural. Make sure that you flick that B natural with the C flick key up here. From the A flat to uh, B natural, from the A flat to the C flat is a strange transition, but it's not impossible. It kind of fits in the hand nicely. You just got to remember where to flick. Okay. I will play this at 138 BPM, taking into mind articulation, key signature, and accidentals. I have my metronome. I'm going to internalize this tempo. <laughs> That's all it is. The second <clears throat> excerpt on the back, tempo marking of 108 BPM. This one's a bit longer. You are going to be tracking all of the changes in terms of accidentals, in terms of articulation, dynamics, as well as repeats. Instructions say check the key signature. We've covered that. Pay attention to note lengths. Okay, that's good to do. Ties and rhythms, articulation, take the repeats. I will play this one for you at 108 BPM. If that's too fast for you to function or too fast for you to accurately play this, slow it down slightly. Internalize. B, make sure you're accurate on the rhythmic, uh, the rhythm that's written for you, including the 16th notes, and those are tongue to not slurred. You have the tie over the bar line for two beats plus half of a beat in that passage. Be accurate and intentional with everything you do. This should be hopefully a really good experience for you and good luck on your audition process. Please reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns you may have. You can start with Naomi Welsh. Again, her email address is posted all over the website. It's on the audition material, and she can put you into contact with me or anyone else that you would need to speak with or if you have any questions specifically for. Good luck again.